Geeks. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over Cheetah. So this is actually a collaboration with myself. You're going to see in the beginning of this tutorial that I have makeup on. I did Cheetah makeup on my other channel. I wanted to see one video. Cheetah makeup inspired by the Snapchat filters. And then I decided I was going to continue that, the body painting part of it on this channel, and do it based off of the character Cheetah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This wig is so wonky. I keep trying to like comb it and fix it and I just can't fix it for the life of me. If you want to learn how to do the face part, make sure you head on over to I Wanted to See One Video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not so you'll be notified every single time I upload. With that being said, let's begin. Like I said, the face part of this tutorial can be found on my other channel I Wanted to See One Video. But let's move on to the body painting. You're going to use an orange body paint to paint the base color of the body. You can use a kabuki brush to apply this paint. If you use a brush that is bigger like a kabuki brush, it covers a lot more of the body much quicker and it doesn't leave that nasty streaking behind that body paint tends to leave sometimes when you're um, painting a bigger area of the body. Now use a black paint to paint on the spots. Now what I'm painting on resembles leopard spots more than cheetah spots, but there are comics where cheetah's spots, and I'm talking about cheetah from Wonder Woman, her spots appear like this. I'll have some of the in in oh, what am I saying? images linked down below. Now you need to highlight some of the body before you paint the shadows on, I'm using a golden highlighter from my NYX Cosmetics palette to highlight the center of my body and I blend it out to look like fur. I now go back with my black paint to create shadows, comic book markings, and to define areas on my body. I was copying a specific picture when it comes to this shadow you see across my body. It ended up kind of looking like a gun holster. I'll have a picture linked down below, the one I was going based off of where the shadow was like that. To create the comic book markings, you're just creating lines in different areas of the body. If you want to make yourself look like you're more fit than you really are, you pretty much just paint on those features. So if you want to make yourself look more muscular, you basically paint on more muscle. If you wanted to find the abs, well basically you just paint on abs. Now mix a very light orange color. I used white and orange paint to create this color. You then use that light orange color to highlight randomly on the body to add more dimension so the body paint wouldn't look too basic. You're going to highlight areas you want to stand out more, like your abs. That will help, again, make it look like you're more fit than you actually are. It's best to stare at reference pictures to get an idea of the markings you want to create as well as the highlighting and shading that you want to do. Then mix together a dark orange color and use it to shade the skin a bit. You shade pretty much in areas that you use to shade and create comic book markings with the black paint. Basically, you always just want to shade and highlight. Whatever you do, you always want to shade and highlight. If you want this to look like a true comic book drawing, you want to use body paint. If you want it to look a bit more realistic, then you would use some eyeshadow. So you would incorporate more eyeshadow into the look. The Snapchat face just wasn't cheetah at all. I had to redo parts of it. So I just used a makeup wipe to wipe off the bottom portion of the makeup. And then I go back with the orange paint and use it as the base color for the face. You want to define the features on your face by using your black paint. You want to define the cheekbones, your eyebrows, the nose, create a shadow below the nose, your chin. Basically, you're just redrawing on these features. Think of when you do a pop art makeup, how you basically redraw your features on. That's what you're doing with the black paint. I also apply this onto my lip as my lip color. Like I just said, you always want to highlight and shade whatever it is that you do. So now I'm going back with that light orange color and using it to highlight the face. I highlight it below my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, chin and then I apply that color to my lips and use my finger to blend it out. To shade the face I'm using a dark orange eyeshadow. I decided to use eyeshadow because I didn't want the line to be too harsh. So 
So that's all I did to the body. I know most people wouldn't go out in a full body paint on Halloween, but I do know some people will paint exposed skin like their neck, hands, and feet. So hopefully this helps you out a little bit. So I want to tell you guys, on this channel, I'm going to have tutorials that are specifically for this channel, not just for I wanted to see one video and geek up. So make sure you come back because I do have a tutorial coming out soon that I think you guys will really like. So I'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.